Monday, 24th of June, 2019, and I want a Brian and Wendy Frued card first. Yes, I'm feeling demanding. Okay, Brian and Wendy Frued. What do we need to know? Monday, start of a new week. I know, so much promise. <laughs> okay. Righty ho. Okay. The juggler. Now, the juggler is a kind of a scattered energy, as you might imagine. It has a certain mercurial quality to it. I like to call it the guy with his fingers in many pies, okay? Um, if you are in a romantic relationship, sometimes it can speak of scattered attention, okay? Whether that is um, that there is third party involvement, sometimes it is, depending on the other cards that I get, or whether that is just that you're involved with someone where it feels like their attention is not on you. And that's not to say that their attention should always be laser beam focused on you. But I think we, ha we know we have that sense when, when it isn't, if that makes sense. I don't know why it looks so dark in here today, by the way. Okay, we are using the Cosmic Tarot, the 1980s Tarot. Yeehaw, Dynasty. What was the other one? Dallas. Dynasty, Dallas, Wonder Woman. All of that stuff, all of that great big crispy hair. Do you remember, by the way, this is when me and my friend were younger. I told you once we gassed ourselves with the Harmony hairspray in her bedroom getting ready. Do you remember curling tongs? I mean, they're still good now, but when you used to kind of make your hair go in these flicks, you remember that Farrah Fawcett? Oh my God, I loved Farrah Fawcett. And then you would spray it while it was on the tongue. And then <laughs> if the wind blew at school, a whole piece of hair would go. I know, and you'd be there like plastering it back down to your head. You see, at least now, it, what are we now? Are we? What do they call this decade? I don't know. The 2020s? Whatever. The 2020s, at least we have free hair. At least our hair can move. Okay. Wow, okay. This may only be for a few people. Cripes. Alrighty. Wow, yeah, okay, coming into realization. <laughs> Ace of Swords, swing. That's the well. I want to say that's the clearest card on the table. Coming into and that's an it's kind of undeniable when you get the Ace of Swords. It goes whomp like that, and you're like, uh, okay, you know, you don't even sometimes. What the the message that I'm getting and this is a weird message I've never had before, is that that is so clear and so sharp and so profound, it turns into fire. I know, how weird is that? It actually jumps an element. It's so wumpy, whatever the word for wumpy is. In other words, it's so incisive and it's so unequivocal that it jumps from air into fire. It's like it fans flames. And then up here, the Ten of Wands. That is a card of, do you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I didn't even know that I was done and I am done. Ooh. 
underneath it three major arcana cards all reversed okay this is one of those days where you're gonna send in comments saying have you shuffled those i have okay this pack gets used lots and lots of times and it's a, just a strong message the moon in reverse the moon in reverse is actually good it's a pisces card it's actually this version of it is so gorgeous kind of umbilical fish I know umbilical fish Pisces card moon in reverse is about realities Neptune has gone into reverse in Pisces I think I want to check that let me have a look in my moon diary she says looking and not seeing her moon diary even though I have now got a shelf have I got a bookshelf and I've still thrown it on the floor that there it is it's backwards okay it doesn't tell me okay it just says neptune goes retrograde that's okay i think it goes retrograde in pisces i'm pretty sure have a look on cafe astrology if you want some real astrology that's actually accurate okay but the moon is a Neptunian card, it's a Piscean card, it's a card of keeping things mysterious. Someone's been keeping things mysterious on you, if it's to do with work, it's about a job offer that they're not giving you, okay? If it's to do with love, it's about a commitment that they're not giving you. This is about things that you're sick of not getting, you're sick of not having, and you've kind of had enough the star in reverse this may involve a reality check okay we've got that beautiful flamingo and flamingos remember that card with the flamingo that has the um between worlds in oh, what's she called colette baron reed wisdom of the oracle where the flamingo walks from the black and white into the color and it becomes pink and just picks up I kind of see it almost as like one of those films where someone goes through a montage and the flamingo just like flicks on a tiara, maybe, you know, a string of pearls. And they're just like, mm -mm, I'm turning full colour and I'm disappearing out of this edge. Sayonara. OK, that's the feeling I'm getting with the Ten of Wands. Star in reverse. I actually do like it. OK, I like the energy. I just think it may be... I think anger will see you through <laughs> if that's if that makes sense it's not a depressive energy it's not a defeated energy it's a fighting back energy strength in reverse now she has been tonguing with the hairspray kudos kudos to that big hair but if there was a gust of wind that whole section would lift i know we know that but look look what she's got on I'm calling that a tiara. It's a tiara, people. Strength in the reverse, you may feel temporarily a bit... <sighs> really? <laughs> Again? <laughs> Again? But that kind of bring it on, I'm ready energy will see you through. Thank God. Let's have an animal spirit card. butterfly that's nice for me this is quite fleeting the life of a butterfly is fleeting and quite short but it is also about opening of wings okay remember there is air that leads to fire there is knowledge that leads to anger okay in the end it's all good energy it's just maybe not the outcome that you wanted Wisdom of the Oracle. Yay! The prawn lady. Lady in a prawn. <laughs> Love this card. Oh, that's really nice. We get blessed. The prawn angel. I suppose it's kind of a shell. I just love it. I love the kind of 
I don't know. I think it's really good juju, actually, if I'm honest. I think there are hidden blessings. I think that's what the butterfly's about, and it won't seem that way either, not with the Ten of Wands on the table. But remember, the Ten of Wands is the end of it. Okay, it is. It's a bit like the Ten of Swords, but with fire. There we go, swords, air turns to fire. Ooh, stick a fork in me, I'm done. Okay, all right. We get the bowling ball. It'd be really good Has she, if she had like her own glove, you know, her own bowling glove with the team uh, thing on it. Okay, balance. Balance the air and the fire. The only thing that could happen here is an explosion, okay? You could um, switch over into too much anger. I don't think so. I think, and don't get too depleted, okay? This is, I mean, strength for me is body and soul. It's like the physical body as well. Don't get too depleted as well in the process because it's going to feel... Um, going to feel annoying there's no other way to put it it's going to feel challenging I still think in the end it's a bit like a dynamo you're kind of there's going to be that much charge in the way you feel that it charges other things to happen okay that and that Okay, hidden blessings. Wowzers, people, leave me a comment, okay? Let me know what you think of that. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.